Alright guys, we're back with another Pokemon Master video, and now that I actually have Champion Silver with Tyranitar, uh, we're gonna go into the Honing One's Love event, and, uh, we're gonna get the, uh, Four Star Medal. Um, I did say I was gonna be recording literally, like, everything I do in this game, and I'm gonna stay true to it. So, I'm gonna take you along for the ride for getting this medal as well. I was, I know this event has been out for, like, uh, almost a week now at this point, but I just wanted to wait until I actually got silver, so at least I can actually do this event and just like easily beat it with uh, with silver with no issues at all. Now, don't get me wrong, like you could easily beat this event without silver anyway, but I just wanted to do it with silver because he is on the 4 star medal, or he's on the medal in general. So I just wanted to kind of like get the medal with silver, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, like, this animation, though, is great. Like, just seeing Mega Tyranitar is awesome. Uh, the shiny and, uh, like, just this animation. So, like, I mean, the animations, for the most part, still look relatively the same from when the game first came out. I mean, not really. They, like, they do have dynamic views and everything, too, now, which is good. Um, but, like, besides, like, that damage, though. <laughs> oh, my God. The, this guy is just nuts. Like, the, the, everything that he's doing is just so crazy. Um, like, don't get me wrong, like, this event is not, like, anything, like, too crazy, like, it's not, like, a high-challenging event, um, it's just, like, one of these events, like, where you could just do that's a little bit challenging, um, but of course, like, if you have, like, the new synchros, like, G Gita and, uh, Silver, then, of course, uh, it's just gonna be a lot more easier to beat this event, um, and that's not the reason why I wanted to wait until I got Silver, I just wanted to do it and wait till I got Silver, just because, like, I want, like, I'll, like he's on the medal. So, I just want to, like, beat it with someone that is on the metal. And that's what I want to try to start doing, too. Because I think it would make it, like, a little bit interesting, I guess. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to do that. Um, like, because then it also gives me more of an excuse to use Silver and uh, uh, Mega Tyranitar uh, in more battles and everything, too. Like, just, like, just with how good they are, too. Like, they're going to make everything so easy. Like, look at this. We don't even need to have, like, any healers on the team. Like, because they're good physically. They're uh, tanking physically. They're able to support the team physically. So, whenever we're going up against uh, enemies that are uh, physical, we're going to be easily being able to beat uh, these events, too, which is great. So, I already got these medals and everything, too. So, like, I'm going to... What I'm going to do now, real quick, is uh, just spam my stamina get all the medals or uh the the tickets that i need and uh just sort of be done i'm not gonna be able to get everything right here because i do not want to use gems to uh to beat the event or to get all the tickets that i need so i'm just gonna wait until tomorrow get my stamina that i need and then get everything here uh, i don't think i even checked the shop yet uh yeah i just, i didn't even do anything here <laughs> uh i need to beat another 11 12 times until I can get, like, everything here. I'm gonna wait for tomorrow. I'm not gonna rush to get this. So, let's just claim everything that we have over here. Nice battle points here, which is gonna be great. There is the four-star medal. Um, it looks okay. Like, nothing too crazy. Um, like, I don't know. Like, Gita's pose, posture there, or a smile. Like, it kind of looks a bit creepy. Like, the like, in the game, she looks really good. But, like, just over here, she kind of looks a bit awkward. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's take a look at the shop. Uh, what do we have here? So we got this. Use to protect the themes or additional effects or of skill gear. Protects the skills will, uh, protect the skills will not be overwritten when unlocking a skill. That's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, so we got the strike candy. I got 10, so I need another 10 more. After I get that, it will be 11. Um, oh, what, what is this? I actually didn't even notice this. Okay. What can you get from this? Sandstorm, uh, Pimu. Okay, that's actually not bad. I, don't, uh, I think I might have to pick that up. I'm gonna have to pick that up. Don't mind if I grab this. Uh, what about them? What is this? Poison zone hit stat 9. Okay, nice. What about this Dragonite? Is it gonna make him better? Wounded power 9. What are the details of it? Powers up the user's moves when the HP is reduced. Okay, okay so it's not bad. I should have checked what the Dragonite does. I'll probably check that out now, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? I'll pick the rest of this stuff up in a sec. I just really want to check out what that Lucky Skill does for uh, uh, for Tyranitar and Silver. 
Because, like, this is completely new to me. Like, don't forget, I'm, like, I came back after eight months of not playing this game. So, I kind of want to know, like, what this stuff does. Uh, lucky skills. We got a Tyranitar. Uh, learn. And then we come over here. Uh, details. Critical hit slam more easily when the user's attacking move or sick move is used during the sandstorm. Okay, yeah, we don't really need that. <laughs> Cause, I mean, it will be useful for the sync move because it's not a guaranteed crit with, uh, even when you have plus three on your crit. Uh, so I mean, I guess this could be good. Um, you know what? Maybe I can use it. Hold on. Let me actually, let me actually use this. Okay. And then we're going to get rid of flame proof. Yeah, we'll just get rid of flame proof. All right, cool. So we got that. I think I might actually keep that on. So let's swap it and use this for right now instead of super powered. I plan on actually having a, a, a head start on this Tyranitar just because I think it would be better, especially when you want to get them to Mega Evolve super quick uh, because they're so good when they're Mega Evolve because their stats are a lot better. Um, so I think that will be good to have on Mega Tyranitar. Uh, so let's take a look at the medals. I know there's still some that I actually need to get. Is there any new ones? So event. Nope, I'm caught up. Yep, I'm caught up. Because I came back around this event. Uh, so now I've just sort of been keeping up with all the medals. So like, as you can see, I've been away for a while. <laughs> I've been away for a while. Like, this is like, I've been very consistent on getting these medals over here. Um, and then this is like when I started to take my hiatus, I guess you want to say. And then this is where I came back. So like, I'm going to keep up with all these medals here. And uh, yeah, so that'll be it for this video. I just kind of wanted to take you guys along for the ride for uh, getting this four star medal. Because like I said, I want to try to record everything just so I have everything documented on my channel as well. So like in case I need to look back at anything or if anything goes wrong, then I could always just pull up like the history and just be like, oh yeah, look, I have this video that I actually did this. So <laughs> Just kind of like as a receipt, I guess you could say as well. So I just want to record everything. Take you guys along for the ride for everything that I do. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, we got the four star medal. Um, I would definitely, if you do have any of these characters, though, definitely pick up these uh, lucky skills over here. Like this is actually really good. I didn't even know this was in the shop. So yeah, definitely really good. Definitely grab that if you have any of them. Um, and yeah, so that'll be it for this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.